We're, we're right alongside a field edge, we're, we're in a residential area, but on the outskirts of, of a town in, in central Wisconsin. We're in an area where someone had cut, selectively cut oaks many, many years ago. So we're going to see some stumps, we're going to see a, a, a hedgerow along a field that, that's got briars and tall grass. Um, it gets full exposure from the setting sun, we're in the late afternoon. Um, it gets wind, all the things that kind of help mushrooms, right? We can, the wind blows the spores around, the, the sun actually helps them to some extent. It, it exposes them, they cap out a little faster that way. It's all, also the, the, the stumps, those glorious stumps, they have branches that go under the water, under the ground, roots, and those decaying roots, that's the substrate that the mushroom wants. He wants to put his rhizomes in there and, and use that as a food source. Simple so. tools, I take, I'm, I'm lucky enough to have a restaurant, I take a bucket, a three gallon bucket, I take a paring knife, a short paring knife, a short blade to cut through the stems. I don't want to root the mushroom. I want to slice it above the, just above the ground. And since we're going to be working around briars, sometimes I'll take some, some surgical gloves from my restaurant, but I could actually take some, some leather gloves too. And, and you could not use nothing. I, my hands are pretty beat up from the past couple days of mushroom picking. I'm right alongside an oak stump. Um, I'm sure this was cut back 15 years ago, uh, right on the edge. Uh, yesterday, these mushrooms weren't here. Um, I picked in and around it, found some, but I did not find these. So these just shot up. So I'm guessing these are going to be, as I assess them, prime. Prime means the cap hasn't even opened up yet. It's a true button. I'm going to get under it with my knife. I'm going to cut through a real firm stem. And as you can see, firm, cap not opened up a true button mushroom, the creme de la creme, the beauty of the woods, the best of the button mushrooms. Dusty gray top, kind of kind of rough to the finger, almost like sandpaper. Um, that's a telltale sign of a honey mushroom. Um, but that's a mu honey mushroom that's not opened up, hasn't opened up so that the cap has its gills exposed. We'll get to those later. So I'm going to cut these away. Once again, we don't want to root them if we can, we can avoid it. We want to cut through the stem. Try to brush off as much dirt as you can here in the field, otherwise you're just going to end up doing it at home. I might even take my knife and go through again like that. Beautiful white, no bugs, all real healthy looking. And we just go right along and say, boy, are we lucky to have a place like this. I had said to you earlier that the honey mushroom, uh, that when it's in the button phase, does not have any gills exposed. As it, the cap, this part of the mushroom gets bigger and flatter, like we imagine a mushroom to be. Underneath it is exposed the gills. That doesn't mean it's bad, it just means it's at a later stage of its life. Later might mean just a day. And always grow in clumps? Oh, that's the best way to get them, but no, you're going to see them all over because they're going to grow in all different ways. They're going to have rhizomes and they're going to have spores that they, they went sent out into the wind. So, Oh, look at that, a blue spotted salamander. How cool is that? Um, as you might imagine, some of the creatures that grow Underneath the bark and in the wet parts, the rotting parts of the stump are, are not just fungus, they're, they're living, what is that, an amphibian? Yep. Yep. The blue spotted salamander. Look at my little girl, she, she likes that too. Maybe we can go fishing with that, huh Scott? Yeah, sounds good. All right. I'll cool. another spot at my, the, the little hub of mushrooms happiness I found here. And now we're on a, a field edge. We're at a little rise, it's an old tree line that was cut years and years ago, so very old stumps. What's grown here is tall field grass, um, briars, a um, little tougher picking. These mushrooms are growing deep in the grass, so I've got to push away briars, push away grass to get at these, these critters. These will typically be ones, there's some kind of critter's got a hole right here. Um, these are going to be mushrooms that are typically capped out already. But they're, they are still honey mushrooms. They're just a little more mature. So I'm getting down in here. I'll, I'll move away grass and leaves. And I'll find these mushrooms right down on the ground. I'm going to put my knife through it. Now there's another honey mushroom. Completely opened up. The cap's open. All the gills. There's, a, there's another mushroom that looks like a honey mushroom. Similar color. But if you always have that brown color with that kind of gritty sandy top. But the other mushroom has a septum. It has a little, a, a little ring right around this, the midline of the mushroom. If you see, as a general rule, if you're not sure and if you see a ring, this little protrusion coming around this mid stem, don't eat it. Put it away, throw it out. It might look, the cat might look just like a honey mushroom, but if that stem isn't perfectly straight without any, 
any extension, a little septum sticking out like that, it's safe to eat. Um, and, and the other thing that will happen is a honey mushroom caps out and gets more mature. The edges will curl, that thing is running out of moisture, and the cap gets almost a little bit tacky, a little sticky, gummy. Um, but these are honey mushrooms that are I consider choice as well. Sometimes I like the ones that are capped out better. They present better on a plate, and um, I just think they have a little different flavor. But um, uh, at the restaurant later, you'll be seeing me cooking up this type of a mushroom, a honey mushroom at its later stages. Um, I'll be sauteing them up with peppers and, excuse me, some onions and garlic and clarified butter, and we'll be serving with some toast points. But these are the type of mushroom I prefer for something like that. When I use just a straight button where the cap is closed, the juvenile form of that honey mushroom, I'll do that perhaps in different ways. I, I, and, and we can perhaps show you some of the methods for cooking that at, a, at another time. So honey mushrooms in tall grass all over the place here. We've got them all over. I'm going to again cut rather than pull. Now sometimes you'll find a honey mushroom that has this, and this is a good example of something that I'll show you that in the field is easy to decide. You can see it's got a black spot on it like that underneath. I think in all likelihood a bug got into it, and I can check it. I'm going to go right through the stem and I'm going to look, and if I... No, the bug didn't get to that. It just got to the cap, but sometimes when you, you see discoloration on the mushroom cap, it's already turned buggy. Some critter has gone into there to use it for a food source and you really don't want to take that one home. I don't know that that would hurt you once you prepped it, but it certainly isn't something that um, your home would like to see. This one's okay too, just the cap's getting a little dry, so they're, they're get, they need to be picked today. They're not going to make it to tomorrow, at least the ones that we're finding here. And I, I tell you stories about mushroom picking. I, I learned mushroom picking from my, my seniors, uh, my, my aunt, my friends that have been doing this for years, and I, I think it's, if there's any safe way to do it, it's going out with someone who does it already, and only picking the mushroom that you're completely confident with. If you know this mushroom, and that, and you've eaten it, you've had it, you like it, then just pick this mushroom. Don't, don't be adventurous, it's just not worth the risk. You know, you say, what's gonna happen to me? Well, I can tell you, you're probably going to get pretty sick, right? I mean, eating anything from the woods that you're not used to is, can sometimes bring you to a different place. But I would say that the way to do it, if you just eat, pick what you know is safe, try to go with someone who's done it before and, um, and learn from that person. It is a great way to pass time. It's, it's relaxing. You go in the woods, you sit down, you carry on a conversation, you talk about the past and the present, and you harvest mushrooms. It's, it's just a real feel-good um, opportunity in the woods. So these are just gorgeous. Look at the color on these. I don't know if you have a knife handy. Look at that, Scott. That is, that's incredible. Like one leaf? We're on one leaf. By Dombrowski's? Uh, Poplinski's. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Those are beautiful. I've never seen that color, that brilliant. Yeah, this yellow. Normally yeah, this is that nice. Once again, sandy on top. They are everywhere. More than I've ever seen. They're everywhere, yeah. Yeah, I mean, this, they more have come up just to look at that stump. They weren't there yesterday. No, no. Her, her mother was born in Wisconsin somewhere on a farm, mm -hmm. and they would travel to Wisconsin quite often. But um, she's okay. Polish-Hungarian, so she absolutely loves this kind of stuff. Does she love to...